Good morning. Today's lesson is 4.4. Today we are going to divide tens, hundreds, and thousands. Our essential question, how can you divide numbers through thousands by whole numbers through 10? Let's unlock the problem. Dustin is packing apples in gift boxes. Each gift box holds four apples. How many boxes can Dustin pack with 120 apples? You can divide using the basic facts and place value. So example, if I divide 120 divided by four, First, my step one is to identify the basic fact, which is 12 divided by four. Then I can use place value. So 120 is actually 12 tens. So step three is to divide. Well, 12 tens divided by four is going to give me three tens, right? You think to yourself, four times three tens is 12 tens, so 12 divided by four is three tens, right? And three tens is 30, right? Because it's tens. Three tens is 30, yep. So Dustin packed 30 boxes because 120 divided by four is 30, just like when we were doing the multiplication and we were breaking using place value. So example two is to divide 1,200 divided by four. So again, I need to identify the basic, basic fact, which is 12 divided by 4. So that's the same thing as saying 12 hundreds, so 12 hundreds, divided by 4. So 12 hundreds divided by 4, again, is going to be 3 hundreds. So now I have to think to myself, 4 times 3 hundreds is 12 hundreds. So that works, right? But again, these are hundreds. So that means my answer is going to be 300 because it's three hundreds, right? So 1,200 divided by 4 is 300. So again, kind of like when I was doing my multiplication. Notice there's two zeros here, right? Just saying. All right, explain. How do you use the basic facts in place value to divide 4,000 divided by 5? So first I need to find my basic fact. Well, I know that 40... 40 hundreds divided, um, 40 divided by 5 is my basic fact, right? Ah. 40 divided by 5 is my basic fact. And 40 divided by 5 is 8. But this is really 40 hundreds, right? So I need my two zeros. So that means my answer is 800 because this is really 40 hundreds, right? So if this is eight, then it must be eight hundreds. So my answer is eight hundred. Kind of confusing, but it's because my basic fact has one of the, the three zeros in it. So here's my 4,000. My basic fact is this one. So I have two zeros. So my answer is going to have the two zeros. Make sense? All right. So let's identify my basic fact. So if I'm dividing 2,800 divided by seven, my basic fact is gonna be this 28 and the seven. So it's gonna be 28 hundreds divided by seven, okay? So, and I know that 2,800 is 28 hundreds. So now when I do my basic fact, 28 hundreds divided by seven, well, 28 divided by seven is four but remember, it's four hundreds, right? Four hundreds. So 2,800 divided by seven is gonna be 400. And I know that because if I look at my basic fact, look at my basic fact. Okay, I use this 28 and I use the seven and I have my two zeros there. So 28 divided by seven is four and there's my two zeros because it's hundreds or 28 hundreds, right? All right, so let's do the next one. Divide 280 by 7. So again, my basic fact is going to be the same. It's going to be 28 divided by 7. So 28 divided by 7. Look how many zeros I'm going to have. Just one zero, right? Because I'm going to do 280. But I'm going to do 280 tens. I'm not doing hundreds. That's why I'm not going to have two zeros. I'm doing tens. So that's why I have one zero. So 28 tens divided by 7 is going to be 40 tens, and 40 tens is 40, right? Because if I've got four dimes or four tens, it's 40. So you can think of these as like reverse multiplication if that helps you, right? So um, first I'm going to identify my, my basic facts. So I've got 36 divided by 6. 
what times 6 equals 36? Well, 6. And then because I'm doing my 36, really it's 36 tens, so I have my 1, 0. 5, do my basic facts, and 20. So if you look, how many zeros do I have left? I've got two zeros left. So my answer is going to have those two zeros because I'm doing hundreds. So 5 divided by 20 is 4 because 4 times 5 is 20. So my answer is going to be 400. Okay, again, identify my basic facts. 9 and 45. What times 9 equals 45? Well, that's going to be 5. 5 times 9 is 45. And how many zeros do I have here? I have 2. So there's going to be 2 zeros in my answer because this is 9 times 45 hundreds, right? And that's going to give me 5 hundreds. All right, I'm going to do a few more for you. So again, I'm going to identify my basic fact, which is going to be 56 and 8. So I'm going to have one zero, which means I'm going to have one zero in my answer. Well, I know that 8 times 9... Nope, 8 times 7 is 56. So that means the answer is going to be 70. All right, I'm going to do a few more because I don't want to confuse you. So again, I'm going to identify my basic facts. So I'm going to do 5 and 20. 5 times 4 is 20. And then I have my 1 is 0. So there's going to be 1, 0 in my answer. Over here, I've got 4 is my basic fact and 24. And 4 goes into 24 six times, and I've got my 1, 0. I'll do a few more. So over here, my basic facts are 9 and 81. Well, I know 9 times 9 is 81, and I have my 1, 0 left over right there, right? Okay, let's do, I'm going to do two more. Actually, I'm going to do one more. So I've got 8 and 64 are my basic facts. And if you see, now I have two zeros, so that means there's going to be two zeros in my answer. And 8 times 8 is 64, so it's going to be 800. Last one, I promise. I'm going to do, my basic facts are 7 and 35. So again, on this one, I have two zeros left over. All right, so 7 times what equals 35? Well, 7 times 5 equals 35. So my answer is 500. Okay, I'm going to have you do 12, 13, and 14 um, with partner. Actually, on your own. And then um, I will have some problems that I'm going to set up in the Google form today instead of doing things central. Okay? All right, good luck. If you need me, I'll be on the carpet.